welcome back to my channel my name is maggie if this is your first time here on my channel welcome make yourself comfortable like i always say if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe i know you like what you see already so please just subscribe you know make it formal let's just keep it going like that anyway so today i'm going to be talking to you guys all about something that i think is very important actually i've been thinking about making this video for the longest I'm indecisive if i should film this video but then i was like you know this can actually help someone out there i don't know who's going through this for me it's like raising awareness about this particular condition so that's why i said you know what let me just film this video it's gonna help someone i know it's gonna help someone my god's grace so um i'm going to be talking to you guys about something that i've been battling with for a long 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 time it's been a long time coming <laughs> i've been battling with it for a long time so this is going to be my pcos journey i'm gonna explain to you guys what i've been going through you know through my teenage years and all of that what i experienced and everything so pcos stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome and this is when you have a lot of follicles on your ovaries they're like cysts on your ovaries those cysts are actually follicles it affects like women of um reproductive age and pcos actually affects your hormones so it's kind of like make your hormones to be doing what they're not supposed to do so it messes up with your hormone system which affects you to have a lot of people have excess hair growth um where they are not supposed to be having hairs okay they lose hairs the way they're supposed to be having hairs say like on your head where you're supposed to have hair you don't have hair and say on your chin like hair where you're not supposed to have hair you have hair there okay and then a lot of people suffer from acne because of obviously hormonal disorder and then people have like prolonged menstruation prolonged period and some people get like their periods um some people don't even get their periods and some people don't even ovulate and obviously if you don't ovulate you won't get your period as well some people actually get their period but they don't ovulate some don't ovulate but get their period you know it's a bit complicated because i don't want to get into the scientific details of that i'm not a doctor so i don't know so much about that so i'm just gonna tell you guys what i know prolonged menstruation or absent of menstruation and um hormones here and there and um yeah with all of that it makes it very difficult for you to get pregnant that's the one that a lot of people are focused on obviously because you have difficulty getting pregnant for me i feel like that's not even the thing it's everybody i want to get pregnant but there's a lot of symptoms that actually affect um the everyday life of the person going through pcos okay so yeah i'm just going to walk you guys through my story all right so actually when i was around 12 years of age i got my period i was in secondary school i was actually in boarding school so a lot of my friends had actually gotten their period but i hadn't gotten mine but i was not in a rush because i was 12 it was not late to have your period obviously so at the age of 12 i got my period my husband is listening to me so at the age of 12 i got my period my first period ever obviously and it was nothing bad it was really actually it was okay and i menstruated for like maybe five days and then after that i got it the next month but after the next month then it started to be like a little bit like so i started keep skipping a month in between my periods but it was still sort of regular i mean in a year i could have i would have periods for like maybe I don't know, maybe eight, nine months, which is not bad if you have pieces actually. So everything was still okay. I didn't even bother to tell my mom because it was a point. I think one time I told her, but it wasn't really anything I would discuss about. So yeah, fast forward now, we came over to Sweden. I was 14 and things were still like kind of like, like, like the way they were in Nigeria before I came. But then when I was around... 16 17 i started to notice a lot of changes when i was 17 i started to grow okay actually there was one time i used and uh, i used this h m powder and the powder clogged my face so it made me have like acne and stuff so i battled with acne for for maybe like i don't know two years and i was thinking that the acne was just like i don't know this teenage acne or something but actually i had to do my pcos so i would be like why would i have so much like, i used to like i would clean my face i would do everything sometimes i would wear little makeup that actually i was wearing a lot of makeup <laughs> that didn't you, that did not actually help the whole matter you know so i battled with acne for for the longest that was the only thing i had that time 
and then my menstruation started to get worse so at 18 19 the period went from um once every three months or every two months to like once in like five months four months it was still four five months and I, I wasn't even bothered because one, I was all sleeping with anybody and two, I was like, okay, thank God, I don't have to deal with periods like, well, I don't care, <laughs> I hate periods anyway, you know, it's just nice to not think about it, just believe in life, like, oh, no period for so long, you know, I was just enjoying it, I didn't really think much about it, but then things started to happen. I started noticing, like when I was around that 18, 19, I started to get like uh, a pouch in my belly. So basically, I, I looked skinny, but my, okay, not skinny, I was never skinny. Like I wasn't big, but my belly was a bit protruded. And I was like, ah, but I'm not eating more now. Like I would, because usually I, I eat home cooked food. I don't usually buy food outside. So I'm like, why do I all of a sudden start to develop, like, you know, I started to get belly and I was trying to lose it and everything was not going anywhere. I was like, okay, this is just very weird and at the time my mess my period was at the time my period was like every five, five months or something even that should be something for me to have you know thought about okay something is wrong but i was just like whatever and then after a while i started to get dark patches around my neck and then i was like okay why do i why do i have dark patches and i i think i googled that and they were like oh if you have if you have if you have diabetes or something like that i was like no i don't have diabetes like i just kind of ignored it i don't know i just was in my teenage years i couldn't be bothered i was up and down, swimming, and enjoying <laughs> going to parties, having fun. So yeah, I was having all of those symptoms because I didn't know what PCOS was, and I didn't even get by that. Like you know, there was it wasn't really affecting me so much. Like I, I'm very secure on my body, so like even that stomach thing didn't really affect me. I was just like, okay, whatever, it's just there, whatever. The whole thing turned around when I started to get pain. This whole time, I had not dealt with menstrual pain. Actually, I think. Probably I had pain, but wasn't anything particular. So I started to have pain, a lot of it. And this is when I would have my periods, I would be in excruciating pain. And there was one time my mom and I, they had to like, <laughs> they had to like rush me to the hospital, like, oh my gosh, she's in pain, blah, blah, blah. And it, that would always happen when I would get my periods. But that this actually happened like, obviously, because I didn't get my periods so often. So let's say in a year, I would get my periods like four to five times. I would ha it, this would happen like maybe two of those times so it wasn't much but still it was like very annoying <laughs> so i would have a lot of pain and then i would go to the hospital and then they would give me like pain killers and i don't know what they would treat me and i'll be fine and then so obviously after this one time i had an episode where it was really bad so the doctor was like okay i need to send you to like a I want to send like a referral letter so that they can, you know, check up what's wrong with you, you know. So the first she was like, oh, maybe the dermatologist, I'm saying, <laughs> maybe the gynecologist, so that they can, you know, do a little bit more of, um, conduct more tests to see what's, what's up with this girl. So yeah, that was what she said though. But then I, I, I started uni. So I moved to Yon Shopping. I moved outside of my city. So something happened with the referral. They didn't really do their job, you know. So this led me into one Christmas, okay? One Christmas. I think it was the Christmas before I met my husband. I bled so much. Like, because I didn't have my message for like a whole, a whole four months. Four or five months, I didn't have any period, and when I got my period, it was so so heavy. I was bleeding so much, I was running out of tampons, I was running out of um, um, what's it called, pads. Like, oh my god, it was so embarrassing! Like, it was, it was so so heavy. So, I would call um, the doctors, they would say, oh, Yeah, it's normal, it's normal to bleed a lot, blah blah blah, go and buy um, over the counter drug. There was one drug called cyclic carbone. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but yes, that's supposed to help with, to stop the bleeding a little bit. I would use it, but it will help a little, but it didn't really help so much. So then I would call again and be like, okay, I'm still bleeding. What's up? Why am I supposed to be worried? And I know I'm probably losing a lot of blood. So there was one particular day, my mom was like, you don't look too well. You look pale. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> I think we should like check up with the doctors. So she we called the doctors. The doctors were like, nah, it's nothing again. They said it's nothing. So my mom was a bit worried. So she was like, okay, she'll call some 
some some person that she knew in the hospital so i think this woman had like her own private clinic so my mom called her and she, the woman was like oh just bring her over let's check her and see what i went over to the private <laughs> clinic and then they conducted um a blood test on me and that's how they found out that i had <laughs> very very low blood level so i had like literally almost no blood left in my sister so she was shocked and they were even shocked i was still standing they were like okay how are you still standing like you are supposed to be like you, are, you should have fainted or something so apparently my body had kind of like adjusted to always losing blood kind of thing so she was like oh my god we need to write the referral to you like emergency referral to the hospital it's so quick you said that's like a hospital a big hospital here in Gothenburg Sweden so that's how she wrote the referral and my dad drove we drove all the way to the hospital the general hospital and immediately we got there they already knew I was coming so like there were a lot of people there but I was just I was my own case was emergency because it was like any minute from now our system will start shutting down so yeah that's how they just word me in they, they connected me started doing blood test again they connected me to the ivs and all of that they, i started to get drip water and then i got like three packs of blood yeah it was terrible because it was christmas and i was just there crying i was crying i was not having it so yeah but actually i was just like it's like it's almost as if i knew it was coming because i mean i've been through a lot so anyway um obviously we'll do gynecology test as well remember when i, when I told you guys in my birth um, in my labor and delivery story that i'm used to gynecologist gynecologist examination and stuff it's because i have this way so we'll go often to meet gynecologists so i'm used to it yeah so that's how i got the blood the water and everything and then i was fine and then they recommended me to take some iron tablets and then i should eat a lot of spinach and all you know high and rich food and then i should check back with my home doctor after a while to see that everything is going fine and obviously they gave me like some drug to stop the bleeding totally and then i would start bleeding normally again and if I don't need to go into details of that, but yeah, so that's how that went. And after that, that's how I knew, okay, now I need to Google my symptoms. Google is your help. What is wrong with me? I need to Google my problem, you know, what is my problem? So I went on Google, I typed hair on chain, because that time also, I forgot to tell you guys that I noticed that I started getting hairs on my chin as well. And in the beginning it was not much, but then obviously I was stupid. I went, to, I went to start plucking it. So when I started plucking it, it's, I think, actually, I feel like, people say it's all, that's not what happens, but I, honestly, in my case, I feel like the plucking made the hairs grow stronger and it made it grow more. So it was a lot of hairs, but I don't know what the theory and that. But anyway, so yeah, I got more hairs. So at this time, I was just, I brought my computer, I was like, I typed hair on chain no menstruation or prolonged menstruation. Google said PCOS. I was like, what the hell is PCOS? So I started to like, you know, read articles about it and, you know, read testimonials about or from people, from other people, read testimonials from other people. So I then understood that, okay, I think this is actually something. This is something. You know that moment where you just like, oh my God, I think this is what I have. I think it's what I have. Like, it's not even something you're supposed to be happy about, but when you finally feel like, oh my god, I think I know what I have. And I've been to a lot of doctors and they couldn't figure out what it was, you know? Or I won't say they couldn't figure it, they just didn't care. They were like, whatever. They couldn't bother to even help me to figure out what it was. So I was just so happy when I found out what it was. And or obviously, what I thought it was. So I had to like contact my doctor, when, to contact my home doctor. And I was like, okay. Um, do you think I have PCOS? She was like, um, I don't know. <laughs> we have to conduct tests to see. So they conducted blood tests and they were like, oh yeah, you don't have elevated hormone level or whatnot. I don't know. We have to do more tests, blah. I don't, see, see, today I, I still don't understand how difficult it was to just give somebody a diagnosis that this is what you have. I need to take birth control. The first time it happened when I lost a lot of blood and I got blood. So they put me on birth control. So I was on birth control. This time I had met my husband too. So, and then it was just messing up with my body. Like I felt like I gained a lot of weight and I was a bit down. I won't say I was depressed, but 
I kind of was depressed. I was down a little bit, and I don't know. I felt like it was a drug that was making me feel all of those emotions. I thought I would just be happy. Sometimes I would just be angry. Like it was, I was. My hormones were just up and down. So I was like, no, I need to stop. I don't want to be on birth control anymore. So yeah, that's why I I, I stopped it. But when I stopped it, I noticed that. <laughs> Um, obviously when you're on birth control, when you're on birth control, you get your period like every month, just as you should. And it's very good for you to bleed every month according to, to some scientists. Some people don't say it's not even necessary, but for me, I feel like it should, it should be good to bleed every month or at least every three months. So I wouldn't have to go for such a long time without period and I said to get a lot of period and then I lose blood. That's not too good either. The period when I lost a lot of blood, I lost a lot of hair on my head. And so that was the time I cut my hair. I used to have a lot of hair. If you know me, I used to have a lot, a lot, a lot of hair. So I lost my hair and everything. I was so angry, you know. I had to grow hair in weird places. I had hairs like on my chin and then on some weird places. Like I have a lot of hair. <gasps> Lots of hair, okay? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> but I was like, okay, no, let me, let me just go on birth control. It will be good for me. So yeah, when I stopped the birth control, like I said, I was depressed and all, the, all of that. That's why I stopped the birth control. And then when I stopped, then I was back to, I was back to what? I was back to, to stage one again. I was back all over to rewind some years prior. It happened again. I lost a lot of blood. I had to go to the emergency. This time my husband was with me. It was the second day or the third day that we met. It was there with me in the hospital holding my hand. So, I was just so emotional, I was so angry, like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm here again. Taking another three pints of blood, like, this is not me. I was just I was emotional, you know, when you, you're you spending Christmas Day again in the hospital. So, this time around, I was like, no, I need to do something. And obviously, I'm in a committed relationship as well. Okay, that time I was not committed. <laughs> but fast forward. Anyway, so yeah, so, yeah, I got blood and water and all of that, and then they had now sent me to a decent, 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 decent gynecologist that deals with PCOS, okay? This woman, she was really good. And by the way, this was the first time I had a proper examination with an ultrasound. So they checked my ovaries to see how it looked like. And they also checked how many cysts, how many um, follicles I had on my ovaries. She was able to count 20 on each side, which was a lot. And that was how she gave me my diagnosis that I had PCOS. And she recommended that I go on birth control again. I was like, no, I don't want to. She was like, yes, you have to. Because if you don't, you're going to keep on losing blood and all of that. And then I was like, okay, yeah, I probably should. So that's how I now went on birth control. That's how I went on birth control the second time. But this time I tried out another type. It's called Yasmin, I believe. And that actually was okay. It was good. But for some reason, I just never liked best control i just felt like it was another extra thing extra thing that could disrupt my hormone that i'm not supposed to be having anyway so it took me actually like another three years for me to actually understand what pcos was and what i needed to do if you guys need to, need to know how i got pregnant with my son let me know because that was a journey on its own and it was all natural so yes birth control is good but really you need to understand do you have to take it is there any other thing you can do? Because when it comes to PCOS, there's a lot of things you can do first, natural things, before you start to like, um, before you are just focused on the drugs and all of that. So yeah, it's not easy. And the thing is that everybody's symptoms is not the same. For me, I had weight gain. I have hairs on areas where I'm not supposed to have hairs. I lost hair on my head. My hairs are coming back on my head now, obviously. I had dark patches on my neck. You don't get your menstruation as you should. Your period are delayed if you're not obviously getting help. And you know, all of this just, you know, it causes a lot of, of stress. Like every time you have to like monitor your medicine, it's just a lot on the mind. I mean, there are other things that we go through. We don't need to go through this as well. So yeah, anyway, I can tell you guys that things got better it got better as soon as I, I started to know my body things got way better like i said just keep believing that you can do it do your research get to know your body don't just believe only one doctor go to different doctors hear their opinion make sure that you insist that they conduct tests on you don't wait for too long like i did in my case i feel like i didn't talk 
soon enough i waited for too long before i could you know get my diagnosis yeah i was diagnosed when i was 20 by the way and i felt like that was a long time i had been having symptoms since i was 15. I didn't get that news until I, until I was like 1920. I know a lot of us bat battle with mental health as well because it's not easy. But sisters, we got this. We are strong. So if you're like a teenager, if you're a young person, having all of these changes in your body and you don't know what it is, I would recommend you to ask your doctors if you could have like some kind of hormonal imbalance or if you just normal to make things i don't know it could be any but i really hope this video was able to help someone i really really hope so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video be good don't forget to like and subscribe and by the way if you want me to film a video now i got pregnant and now i healed my pc was healed oh let me just say how i'm dealing with it let me know all right so i'll see you guys in my next one bye